Here we're asked to rewrite this as a single logarithm. Now the first thing I notice is that we have these coefficients. So let's use the rule of exponent that says we can bring those as exponents in the argument there. So this would be equivalent to log of 27 to the one-third power minus, again here that would be log of 36 to the one-half power. Okay, now we know the one-third power is really the cubed root, and 27 is a perfect cube, so let's see. We have the cubed root of 27, and we have to start thinking about what cubed is 27. Okay, minus log of the square root of 36, right? Remember the denominator is the root, and the numerator is the power. Okay, so the square root of 36 is just 6. So let's continue before we apply another property of the log. The cubed root of 27 uh, is just 3, because 3 cubed is 27. So that's just the log of 3 minus the log of 6. Okay, and then for the last step here, we would um, apply the property that says when you have subtraction, two bases, two logs of the same base, of course the base here is 10 when it's not given, we can divide those uh, arguments. So we have 3 divided by 6, uh, which I guess could simplify. That would be the log of 1 half. So there, we simplified it down to one logarithm. Of course, you could do that on a calculator, but there you have it.